So last video I explained about rational number, the rational number, the number, the number, the number, the number, the and other things I have explained. Here I will do solve the exercise of your textbook that is exercise, exercise one point first exercise that is one point one that the first sum is the first sum is First sum is is a zero rational number they are asking in the first sum they are asking is a zero rational number rational number they are asking rational number and one minute, one minute uh, rational number and also they are asking and also they are asking can you write it can you can you write it write it in a in a so they are asking can you write it in a p they are asking that can you write that in a In a p by q form, can you write that as such that such that p is equal to? They are asking such that p is equal to such that the p should be p and p and q or p and q or p and q or equal where equal and equal and uh, where q should be where q is equal is not equal to zero is not equal to zero not equal to is not equal to zero where q is should be not equal to zero so next is how to solve this is not equal to one minute equal to zero so you should prove that is a zero is a rational number so to solve this zero can be written in as you know zero can be written in can be written in it can be written as first you can write it as zero by one you can write it as or you can write it as or one minute write it as next you can write it as zero by two you can write it as zero by two you can write or you can write it as or you can write it as in in the form of zero by three like that only rational number will be keep going on the conclusion is the zero can be written in the p by finally the zero can be written as you know the zero can be zero can be written in p by q form can be written in p by q form they asked you to write the zero in p by in uh, uh, they asked you to write zero in p by q p by q form but we, we we are easily able to write that see here we wrote 0 1 2 3 like that and you can keep on writing the second sum is find six rational numbers find six they are asking find six rational number six rational number between they are asking find six rational number between 
between four and five four uh, three and four between three and four between three and four they are asking to find six rational number now the question is we have to we have to write six rational numbers we have to write six rational numbers we have to write six rational numbers is the is our question no so so we can multiply it in rational number so we can multiply it by we can multiply it by we can multiply that multi we can multiply multiply it by we can multiply it by seven why because uh, they are asking greater we can so we should uh, see uh, so we can take any number we can clue is we can take we can take any number greater than six any number any number greater than six so for easy it will be easy so that we will uh, greater than six means we can take the uh, seven only no so what we have to do means we have to do three into we have to do three into seven by seven uh, seven by seven because they are we have to divide it by seven only no seven uh, sorry we have seven have taken greater number here so we get is equal to uh, that is equal to 21 that is equal to 21 by 7 that is equal to 21 by 7 and next we have to take 4 here they have given 3 and 4 no so next is 4 into we have to take 7 by 7 here also same because uh, as i said we should they have given that we uh, 6 raster number we have to get means we have to take greater than 6 if we take 6 only how we will get greater uh, 6 we will get 5 so 7 we should take is equal to if you have dot means take 6 here you will get almost 6 18 by 6 you will get here 6 for the 24 by 6 however but they have asked but they have asked you to take greater than there are infinite rational numbers between them so we don't want infinite rational numbers we want correct rational numbers that is correct answer so we will take 7 only so if you take 6 also it is no problem but the answer will be little bit mistake so they will not give marks so it takes 7 only because we want infinite uh, we want correct rational number as you know there are many rational numbers in the see now we will get 28 28 by 7 we will get no so uh, if you put here 6 6 so we will get 18 by 24 but uh, you should not count the last number you should not count the last number then you will get 5 numbers only not count the first number that is 21 and here i am getting 28 means we should not count that because uh, starting number if you count means uh, you will not get answer if you see here here you are getting 18 if you put a uh, 6 6 here if i put uh, you are getting 18 and 24 if you remove that you are getting 4 where is 6 rational numbers the question is different so by this we are getting by this we are getting 6 rational number this we are getting 6 rational number we are getting six rational numbers we are getting six rational numbers that are six rational numbers that are as you know first number we should not take as i said so 22 by 7 first one one minute one minute it is a little bit stuck one minute one minute to by seven first rational number is 22 by seven next is the next is the next is 23 by 7 like that only till uh, 6 has to write so you have to write so 7 next is 7 next is 24 by 7 next is 24 24 by 7 next is the next is 25 by 7 25 by 25 by 7 that next is next is 
नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिनट नेक्स्ट इज सो नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाई सेवन दट नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट यू आर गेटिंग इज द नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी सेवन बाई सर वन मिनट यू आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय सेवन सो सी सिक्स रैशनल नंबर्स वी गॉट इफ वी टेक सिक्स हियर यू आर गेटिंग ओनली फोर रैशनल नंबर्स सो द आंसर इज स्ट्रॉन्ग सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर यू लाइक दिस यू हैव टू राइट सो यू हैव टू टेक वन ग्रेटर नंबर इफ दे हैव गिवन इन लाइक दिस इन योर एग्जामिनेशन सो यू हैव टू टेक वन ग्रेटर नंबर देन दैट एनी नंबर यू टेक इफ यू टेक एट ट्वेंटी फोर एंड And thirty-two, you were you were getting when you were leaving first number, the twenty-four and thirty-two when you were leaving, you were getting six rational numbers only. You take any number, but if you take less than six or six only, then you are not getting the answer. So, like if you will take you in your final exam like this question, so remember the this next uh, two four two to three sums are there that uh, you only solve that that is the uh, like homework sums for you. You may practice that. Also same three by five or four by five. You have to find the five rational numbers between them. Same topic you use uh, greater than five. You will get the six uh, five rational numbers. Come to the next exercise that is exercise one point two. So next uh, two three sums are uh, same. How I did uh, these two sums. So you can do it easily. So that is how much sum you can practice it. Next. King, so they are asking. They are true or false. They are asking true or false, or you have to justify true or false. Justify it. We should justify it. We should also justify it. So justify it. Also, they are asking. So let's uh, see the question. The first question they are asking is. A question is. A is. They are asking that every irrational number is a real number. Every irrational number, made every irrational number, number is a. They are asking that every irrational number is a real number or not? They are asking. So, every irrational number is a real number. They are not. They are asking. So, as you know. Irrational numbers are irrational number where the number where the number should be one minute one minute one minute where the number where the number should be in p by q form should be in Where the number should be in P by Q form, the number should be, and the P should not uh, and the Q should not be equal to zero, as you know. So, like that only. So, what is real number? As I said in the last class when I was explaining, so real number or collection, the real number or collection of. The real number is collection. <laughs> is collection of rational number and irrational number. Rational and irrational numbers collection. It is irrational numbers collection. Is we get real number. So like so like that only. This is the real number as I said in the last uh, video when I was explaining the real numbers, rational number and irrational number. So then, uh, the uh, it is. Then it is true. It is true that the rational number, that the irrational number, be irrational number. Irrational number. is a real number it is true is a real number is the first question they asked and it is true because as i said 
the real number or the combinations of rational and irrational number so then it is true only one so the next question the b question they asked is the next question is true or false next question is thing to consider a number line consider a number line where a number line where we can represent where where we can represent where we can represent both positive and negative on it they are asking we can represent both positive and negative on it they are asking the question so if the positive number are on if so answer is if positive number are in positive number are in root or in root form root uh, root to like that if it is in root form we cannot uh, root form it cannot be so if it is in root form it cannot be represented it cannot be represented on the number line as you know on the number line we cannot represent the root we can represent only minus plus if root is there how we will represent it's not possible as you all know you are learning your lower classes we cannot represent the root so if it is in if it is in it is in root m root m if it is in root m then we cannot represent it then we cannot represent it represent it root m means the it can be any number so root m they said we can root m i'm saying it can be it could be any number we can take so we cannot represent it so it is false uh, so like this they are giving explanation one way dear question so we cannot represent it because if it is root root means how you can represent so the question is wrong or it is the, uh, the question is not wrong what they asked the question what they asked for that answer is false to the false here they are asking so it is answer is false the question is they are asking is consider a irrational and consider a consider a irrational number they are asking that consider a irrational number they consider a irrational number as a real number separately you should consider it separately real number consider that as real number separately so to consider this so think that it's a irrational number so what i said remember that point irrational number is true irrational number is in number is in p by q form p by q form as you all know it should be in p by q form and where q should be p by q form where q should be equal to uh, q should not be equal to where comma where q in small or in short line i am saying where q is not equal to 0 is not equal to is not equal to 0 equal to 0 as you know so like that only what i said about the real number yes irrational number so like that only what i said about real number real number or collection of the real number or real number or or collection of the as i said they are collection the real number is collection of rational and irrational number as i said 
irrational and irrational rational and irrational irrational number so irrational number we can consider that we can consider every rational is a real number consider every irrational number is a real number because irrational number only will get in real number only is a real number is a real number we can consider it but we cannot consider but we cannot consider we cannot but we cannot consider consider the real number as irrational number no no we cannot because real number has both rational and irrational so we cannot consider it irrational number but irrational number can be considered as real number because irrational number only is there in real number also so we can consider but if we if we real number is an irrational number means we cannot take because the real number has both rational and irrational number then how we can say it is only rational number so it is false they ask that consider a irrational number as a real number so we cannot consider this so it is false so it is so it is false the answer is false we cannot say this exercise exercise 3.1.3 sorry 1.3 exercise so now till i explain about how to find if uh, they have given find the irra six irrational numbers between 3 by 5 or any question between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 or any question if they ask that i explained and uh, i explained about uh, what is real number uh, if uh, they have given true or false and i explained about the uh, irrational number so next is i will uh, i am going to explain you the next is decimal expansion we have to find decimal expansion in the questions decimal expansion when we divide whatever expansion we get but it we should divide it that's all decimal expansion so first question is they have given is it is first is 36 by 100 they have given 36 by 100 so when you divide it what you get so the answer as you know i do i know it so it is 0 0.36 0 0.36 0.36 it is terminating decimal point it is terminating as you know remember uh, remember as i said in last video terminating and non terminating if the no, uh, if uh, the number it is goes continuing here see here it has stopped but if uh, it is non terminating means it should be going keep on going but here it is not so it is terminating decimal we can say like that only i will do another one sum that is is the second question is 1 by 11 is 11 is the second question so the answer we get for this is you can divide it 0 and you turn it 0 0 9 0 9 it will keep on going on so it is non terminating because it is still going on it has no end as I said if it has no ending it is non terminating or non terminating also we can say non terminating it is non terminating or non recurring as i said it is non terminating or it is non recurring or we can say tell it as non recurring and the terminating thing we can say it as recurring so still more sums are there so that you can practice to uh, in your if you in, uh, as you know you have still more questions so that you can practice it is uh, you can think it is a uh, how much sum you can practice that sum so next let's come to next exercise after that next exercise is 
1.4 and that is the exercise 1.4 so next first question is question is visualize visualize 3.975.765 on the number system on the number line number line with successful ma with correct magnification with correct magnification means by seeing correctly you have to tell that so this scene uh, you have to take scale and you have to do so I will this you have to do so what you have to do means first you have to put the number so first you have to draw the line and you have to put the plus here you can see plus minus like that you have to see and it uh, 3.765 it will come in the middle of 3 to 4 no so like that you have to go like that you have to put then it will come in the middle of 3.7 into 3.8 only it will come in middle because 3.765 means in that middle only it will come next you have to go to 3.77 on that only it will come no? 3.76 to 77 in that middle only it will come so next you have to put the numbers 3.765 this all you have to draw for this question next is next question is so sorry in next you have to write like this the number 3.7 3.7 and 3.8 lies between 3 and 4 because 3.7 and 3.8 in the middle of that only we will get no 3.765 means 3.765 means 3.77 3.765 means we will get there only and next is 3.76 and 3.77 lies between 3.7 and 3.8 so here see 3.76 and 3.77 that lies between 3.7 and 3.8 only no so next is 3.764.766764 and 66 lies between 3.76 and 77 what you write there only you have to write and next 3.765 lies between 3.765 and 7.64 and 7.66 on the middle that only it will lies like this you have to draw and write about that next sum is, is exercise 1.5 because there are only two sums in the textbook only two sums in the textbook so we have to go to next uh, so there are only two sums they have given on this uh, question on this topic so one sum I have explained, another sum uh, that is homework sum, you, you can only practice that. It is easy as I explained like the first one, like that only. The next question, what they have given number, like that only you have to write. Next is 1.5. Let's come to 1.5. And the first question is, first one, they, you have to say that whether, the, whether it is rational or irrational, they will give, it is rational or irrational, they will give the sum on that you have to take tell whether it is rational or irrational what is that you have to tell so one minute one minute one minute one minute irrational what is it uh, you have to say so first one is so the first problem is the problem is question is 2 minus root 5 we have to find whether this is rational or irrational number so 2 minus root 5 is equal to 2 minus root 5 is equal to 2.0 so it is equal to point equal to 2 minus 2 minus 2.0 uh, 0 not 2 3 6 we will get 2 is when you divide root 5 we will get 2 and this is 2 my point zero two three six five. so what happens means zero, it will become 0 0.2365 236 so then it is irrational because it is getting point and it uh, 6 or not only 2 3 6 we are getting 6 not we are getting still number so it is irrational because if you are getting more number as i said it is irrational number it is irrational because we are getting still numbers it is irrational number this is then next sum is 
second one is the next question is so next question is the next question is the two root 7 by 2 root 7 by 7 root 7 is equal to 1 by 3 1 by 3 so it is in a p by q form it is in a p by q form in a p so, uh, one minute in a it is in p by q form you can say by seeing that see here see that it is in p by p by q form see here here root 2 root 7 by 7 root 7 then p by q form only now q by q form so therefore we can conclude that conclude that conclude that that the 2 root 7 and 7 root 7 we can kind of put that so we can put that 2 root 7 and 7 root 7 is a rational number one minute one minute one minute if we can mistake 2 root 7 and 7 root 7 is a rational number we can say that it's a rational number these are homework sums so next is simplify the expression they have given some expression that we have to simplify the expression is our next topic so let's simplify that expression what they have given I will not uh, explain you how to simplify one two sums then you can uh, understand and do it sum is that is bracket 3 plus root 3 that is 3 plus root 3 bracket that is plus plus 2 plus root 3 that is 2 bracket plus 2 plus that is 2 plus root 2 not 3 root 2 bracket close so next what we have out to solve this uh, leave that uh, that has came mistakenly that much big uh, expression so like that so what you have to do means bracket 3 plus root 3 like that only you have to write root 3 bracket plus bracket 2 plus root 2 bracket then what you have to do means then leave some gap leave some gap now do it double of this double make it double how means leave some gap now what you have to do means minute one minute what you have to do means First, you have to write the first equation that is 3 that is 3 bracket why because first you are taking 3 this you may have learnt to take first number 3 then you have to put the bracket 2 plus root 2 bracket next you have to take plus root 3 next plus root 3 bracket 2 plus root 2 root 2 so don't see this all root that are coming mistakenly it is not going so forget that so what you get means 6 plus 3 root 2 6 plus the answer we get when this you divide this plus 3 root 2 6 plus 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus see root 6 you will get when you solve this uh, equation you will get this so this is the answer so like this you have to do the square and solve next sum is second question is bracket 3 plus root 3 3 plus root 3 next bracket next is the uh, next question is 3 plus root minus root 3 3 minus root 3 3 minus root 3 so to solve this to solve this 
so we have to use that expression that is a plus b is a plus b you know you may have know that expression a plus b a plus b bracket a minus b a minus that is a minus b bracket then cap a plus plus bracket a or a square minus b square a I will write two only square is not there here so a square plus b square oh, sorry minus b square this is plus not this is equals may mistake uh, is equal to a square minus b square we uh, by this we are following so a plus b that you want to know the first is 3 plus root 3 is the a square root 3 bracket next a minus b is that is 3 minus root 3 bracket a square is equal to and that is 3 square that is 3 square square it is I am not 32 mr. A square I am not getting so one minute I will check 3 square it is don't think that is 32 I am not getting square here 3 square plus square plus bracket root 3 bracket whole square that is equal to 9 minus 9 u minus 6 we will get is equal to minus 3 not 6 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 we will get is equal to 6 so this is the answer so to find this you have to use that formula and some formulas as i said in the last video that uh, there are some formulas for you that you have to buy at since they are given in your textbook or by solving from by using that formula and solving only so read all that formula and which formula you think that it is correct for this question put that and write the solve that problem you will get the answer like the why put it the a square plus b square expression a plus b square a square plus minus b square expression like that only you can put uh, the formula the five formulas as i said in the beginning you can say that remember that i have said and you can put use here simplify them in your in your final exam next exercise the last exercise of this chapter is exercise uh, that is exercise 6 point uh, sorry 1.6 1.6 first question is first question is the 4 64 1 by 2 1 by 2 that we get is when we do square of it is 64 square 1 by 2 means square we have to do when we do that square if we get 64 then it is correct so the square root is equal to what square if you do means you get 64 yes you may know that 8 into 8 if we do it it's a 64 so 8 into 8 is equals to 8 8 only we will get we have to put the answer we will put, we have to put the square and where we, by which number if we do the uh, here see 1 by 2 they have given if they have given 1 by 4 means that number we have to find 1 by 4 or 1 by 5 by 5 numbers if we by which 5 numbers if we will get uh, 64 question that is second one is 32 1 by 5 1 by 5 they are given so by which number if we do 5 times it uh, we will get 32 so see 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 2 because when we do uh, 2 only the, when we do 2 5 times square we will get 32 see 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 then we got so is equal to answer is 2 then the answer we can say is equal to 2 like that only this only solve all the other problems permit one minute this only solve the other problems so by this uh, 
they are given some more uh, problems in your textbook so solve that so that is your chapter number system has finished so i have explained all the topics of this chapter from last number in last number, number visualize the 4.26 or something or some number they have given that i explained and how to find terminating and non-terminating rational or irrational or how to divide uh, uh, so like now i did know how to find the square root uh, square root like that i from first exercise 1.1 to 1.6 i have explained all the topics and uh, one two uh, three sums i have explained and other sums you only practice in your home it is homework sums you may think you only practice it you will uh, get on practice by seeing this so okay friends like the video comment on my video and subscribe my channel i'm in coaching center for more video i will explain the next chapter that is all normal in your next video so if you understand this chapter like the video how was my video comment and subscribe my channel and coaching center for more videos like this bye friends you take on have a nice day friends bye friends